Hello children, how are you? Welcome back after your first term examination. I hope you were well and you scored good marks. So children, today we are going to start our next chapter that is 6th chapter Internet, Surfing and Security. Children, before learning about internet, we should know that what is network. Network when two people are connected with each other in any manner like you have a group of friends you are you all are connected with each other with your friendship you have created a network same way when two or more computers are connected with each other that is a network and when millions of computers around the world are connected with each other that is international network means internet and the biggest advantage of internet is that that you can access internet from anywhere and with any device you can share information and you can communicate children if we will talk about the history of internet then it starts with the birth of arpanet arpanet means advanced research project agency network it was a network which was developed for the research purpose by the defense uh, by the government officials and scientists and it was uh, set up by the department of defense of usa in 1969 it was the first network of computer in the world after that um, many universities starts using the networking for uh, education purpose and for sharing their resources uh, slowly slowly it get bigger and bigger and take the uh, picture of internet which you are seeing nowadays that nowadays each and every child in this world is using internet uh, you also know that because of this pandemic most of the students are learning nowadays with the help of internet so now it's a common for every child nowadays they are using internet for their study children you know that that anything which have advantages also have disadvantages too so let us discuss the advantages and disadvantages of internet so first we will take a look of advantages children you know that you can find the any information on any topic on the internet you can send and receive email messages with a very fast speed that within a seconds you can send messages or emails to abroad even and uh, you can play online games you can download the games and play you can make new friends on internet you can play uh, games even on the uh, online friends with the online friends sorry and uh, you can send text messages with your friends and you can chat with them you can nowadays you can even do the group conferencing and uh, you can talk with them in video calling also and uh, in audio and via the text messages also you can listen to music and watch movies on internet you can download lot of music and uh, lot of movies you can download of your interest you can uh, even you can do e-commerce like you can buy books toys and other things whether they are new or old from the internet so at the flip side we should also see the disadvantages of internet uh, children you know that uh, nowadays uh, students are so busy in playing games on internet and making friends on internet so they are uh, not uh, communicating with their parents and their friends around there in their surroundings in their locality they are not uh, playing with them the physical games they are all uh, uh, every time they are busy online games that is very wrong thing and uh, you you, uh, you get lot of informations of internet and uh, they are not 100% accurate that uh, there is no any sec uh, any uh, check that they will first check the information then anyone can upload anyone can upload anything on the internet so you should not uh, believe everything so the next thing the people spend most of the time on the internet they're surfing so many websites and it, it, it will affect their work their study and even on their health also uh, and uh, cyber crime cyber crime is also common days on the internet what is cyber crime cyber crime means 
द क्राइम विच इज हैपनिंग ऑन द इंटरनेट ऑन द ऑनलाइन लाइक नाउ डेज वी आर यूजिंग ऑनलाइन पेमेंट्स ऑनलाइन परचेजिंग लाइक सो मैनी वेबसाइट्स आर देयर विच आर अलाउंग अस टू परचेज थिंग्स एंड सो मैनी आर देयर फेक एंड वी है वी शुड बी वेरी अटेंटिव वाई यूजिंग इंटरनेट दे कैन मिस यूज आर पर्सनल इंफॉर्मेशन लाइक आर ए टी एम नंबर आर क्रेडिट कार्ड नंबर एंड सो मैनी अदर थिंग्स वी शुड फर्स्ट वी शुड चेक द अथेंटिकेशन एंड देन वी शुड स्पेंड मनी और वी शुड डू द परचेजिंग ऑन एनी इंटरनेट एंड नेक्स्ट वी हैव सेवरल इन एप्रिपेट कॉन्टेंट्स ऑन द इंटरनेट ऑल्सो दैट एनी वन कैन अपलोड एनी थिंग सो चिल्ड्रन शुड नॉट सी ईच एंड एवरी थिंग मे बी दे दो इन अप्रोवेट थिंग्स कैन अफेक्ट देयर लाइफ एंड दे कैन ऑल्सो अफेक्ट देयर थिंकिंग ऑल्सो सो एज वी हैव सीन देर आर लॉट ऑफ बेनिफिट्स ऑफ इंटरनेट वी हैव ऑल्सो सो मैनी डिसएडवाटेजेस सो वी शुड बी अलर्ट वाई यूजिंग इंटरनेट चिल्ड्रेन इफ वी नीड इंटरनेट कनेक्शन और कंप्यूटर सो देर आर टू बेसिक नीड्स ऑफ इंटरनेट कनेक्शन फर्स्ट वन इज द कंप्यूटर सिस्टम इट्स वेरी ऑब्वियस इफ वी हैव द कंप्यूटर सिस्टम देन वी कैन हैव अ इंटरनेट कनेक्शन देन वी कैन वर्क ऑन दैट एंड सेकेंड थिंग वी हैव दैट इज मॉडर्न मॉडर्न मीन्स मॉड्यूलेशन एंड डी मॉड्यूलेशन दैट मीन्स द डिजिटल सिग्नल्स मॉडर्न इज अ डिवाइस विच कन्वर्ट्स द analog signals which are coming in the wires to in the into the digital signals which will run on the computer and again when our computer is sending back the signals it will again convert the uh, digital signals into analog signals that's why it is known as modulation and demodulation so there are two types of uh, modems nowadays one is uh, dial up mod- uh, modem and the another one is digital modem children if we will talk about internet connection so there are two types of internet connection what is one is dial up and another is broadband so dial up connection nowadays we people are not using dial up connection but earlier it was uh, there um, dial up connection is least expensive to way to access the internet but it works where it gives very slow speed in by the dial up connection you should use a computer a dial up modem and a regular telephone line should be there but in the broadband a high speed internet connection will come and with the broadband access you you use a computer a digital modem a broadband line with broadband your computer is usually connected to internet to entire time it is is on it means if your broadband is on your modem is on then you can use the internet the, uh, and it will give you a very high and good speed ISP children ISP are the internet service providers these are the few companies which which are giving us the internet services and uh, i'm sure that you know so many companies which are providing us the internet services like BSNL Airtel Tata Indicom Reliance then Jio so many companies are there which are providing us the internet facility and charging a monthly fee from us now come to search engine children search engine are the websites if we want to find any information on the internet and we don't know the exact address of any website so what we will do we will open mostly google and we will write down the word or keyword in the google and it will give you uh, a list of websites reg- uh, related with the uh, keyword or topic you have written in the google so what it means it means that search engines are the uh, those uh, websites which provide you a list of websites related with your keyword or your topic and uh, many search engine using program called spider to display the list of all the web pages what it means spider 
spider means it, uh, a spider reads the pages on the website in order to create a catalog of index like let's imagine you have written uh, something like red you want to get the information regarding red so if when you will write the red it will give you a website on uh, whether it is a red roses or red fort and all the information related in that uh, website the red word will come that uh, it will show you all those websites so it means the search engines are the websites which help you to find the information on the internet they have they are make your work easy uh, so some popular search engines are google it's your favorite one the most of the time when you need something you want to know something you use the google next we have bing bing is the uh, microsoft's own search engine developed by the microsoft and one more is a common that is yahoo so children if we are talking about search engines it's very important to learn about the web browser so most of the time the children are confused between the web browsers and the search engines children web browsers are the programs they are software programs which we need to browse to explore the websites children if we have the web browser then we can explore the websites in it and uh, mosaic was the first successful graphical web browser and it was developed by mark andresen and eric bina in 1992 you should learn these both the names and the year and it was released in 1993 and children you should know that that we can install lot of uh, web browsers uh, in a single computer like uh, you can see that uh, maybe you have on your computers and google is also there microsoft uh, edge is also there so uh, it means we can have more than one browsers in a single computer now let us discuss about different types of web browser first of all we have microsoft edge Microsoft Edge is the default web browser of Microsoft. If we have Windows 10, then we, uh, you can see it will be already there in your computer. Uh, it is the new web browser of Windows 10, which enables you to browse the web with many new features. When we will use it, then you can experience them. So the next we have Microsoft Internet Explorer. It is uh, uh, again a web browser of Microsoft, and it was developed in 1995, and uh, supported uh, uh, supported package to Microsoft Windows operating system. And uh, the next uh, we have Mozilla Firefox. It is the second most famous browser after Internet Explorer. It can be used on the several operating systems like Windows, Macintosh, and Linux also. And uh, uh, and last one we have the famous one and your favorite that is Google Chrome. Yeah, uh, as its name precise, and it is developed by the Google only, and it is faster, safer, and easiest to install and easy to use also. So, children, as you know, that Microsoft Edge is the default web browser of Microsoft. So, Windows 10, and uh, it is already installed in your computers, and uh, I hope you all are using Windows 10. So, uh, we will discuss that how to open Microsoft Edge. Uh, as you are opening all other application softwares same way you have to click on the start and in the uh, search box you have to write microsoft search you will get the icon which you have seen on the screen and you have to click on it and uh, simply it will be open a uh, window of microsoft edge will be open if you are not connected with the internet then it will give you the message that in, uh, you are not connected with the internet and otherwise if you are connected then you can see the figure which is showing on the computer and uh, after that when you will complete your work you have to click on the cross button it will close your windows uh, microsoft edge so children i think that's all for today uh, you have to see and listen my video carefully 
and after that you have to read your chapter till page number 61 it's very important to read your chapter bachche then you will understand what uh, the word these all things are and uh, it will be more clear to you then we can move forward so take care of yourself do study well good day